Is the game gonna load? Cause it's been fucking forever. Okay, let me, uh, test some stuff out. Yo, what's going on, B? It was nice seeing you already so early in the stream, bro. Yo, what's going on, B? It was nice seeing you already so early in the stream, bro. Sorry if you could hear it. Uh, let me put my headphones on, actually. What the heck? <laughs> Didn't expect anybody to be here so early. Just wanted to uh, test the audio real quick. Okay, let's see. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much. Alrighty. Um, so, today's gonna be a little bit of a chill stream. I wanna play a little bit of Animal Crossing first. Um, I might have to take a break at like an hour and a half into it. Um, well, but it depends. It depends. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, I want to give a little bit of a tour of my island. <laughs> my island looks better than mine. Honestly, dude, my island is not the best. Um, uh, I kinda... What the hell is that? Is that new? What the hell? I've never seen that before. Let's see if it's new. That looks pretty new to me. Yeah, it's new. Caught a walking leaf. Nice, it looks pretty cool. Um... But yeah, my island is kind of a mess. Like, it's all over the place. You know, there's some sections that I really like and I want to keep, but there's other sections that I uh, want to edit. What's this? Oh, nice. They disguise themselves as, like, items. Um, but yeah, like, I really like this orchard area. Um, I need to dig these trees out and grow them somewhere else because I guess they won't grow when they're so close to each other but yeah and then i'm obsessed with the black roses and i have the yeah so this area right here got a little way too out of fucking control i was trying to set it up so i could grow black roses but uh, as you can see i uh i have a little bit way too much uh clutter right there uh yeah so if, if my island looks a little bit of a mess and there's like a lot of weeds going on it's because I haven't played Animal Crossing in a little while. But I wanted to, you know, come on stream and just stream it for a little bit. And then, like I said, um, I might take a break in between, like an hour and a half. And then get back to it with uh, Smash Ultimate. But yeah. It depends because uh, something might come up in a little while. And uh, yeah. 
because I, uh, you know, I, you know me, I like to have a longer form streams. Uh, let me see. I was going to actually uh, post the uh, stream on uh, social media here. Let me see. What the hell, Twitter? Don't mind me, I'm just posting this up. How are you guys doing, by the way? Pretty chill Monday. Nothing too crazy going on. All right, all right. Your mind looks very nice. <laughs> thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. I really do appreciate that. Uh, let's see. I'll show off the rest of my island, I guess, just to have it in the VOD. But uh, let's see. Yeah, so this area right here. I want to get rid of because it's way too much flowers, way, way, way too much flowers. And uh, yeah, I, I like this area right here. I feel like it's a little empty. I feel like I need another table right here, but I do like the vibe a bit just because it's like a food stand sort of place. Mm, little playground right here. It sucks that you can't get on the slide or can you get on these? You can't get on those. Can't even get on the little tricycles. You can get on this right here. Pretty chill. And you have motherfucking Godzilla right here. Alright, another area with an overabundance of flowers. Kind of random. And this area, I feel like I want to edit it. I, my thing was like, oh, like make it all like cohesive, make it all look uniform, but I don't know. It looks a little bit. I feel like I could do more with it. Oh my god, Anka. Please don't tell me you want to leave. I don't think so. She's not in the town hall. No, 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 no. But I believe it's time to move on. No, you can't go, Anka. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, Anka, but you can't leave this island. I know it's not the best island for you. You're too magnificent. You're too fancy for this island, but... You're one of my favorite villagers, so I can't let you go just yet, or ever. Uh, I guess I'll show off some of my villagers. Uh, I have Audi here. Audi's one of my favorite new villagers. I love her energy. She just, uh, she's really cool. I love her vibe. And then, uh, make fun of me for all you want, but I do have Raymond on my island, simply because I got him for free. Believe it or not, somebody was nice enough to just, uh, hand him over to me. And, uh, I mean, considering the fact that people will literally sell you Raymond for a good amount of money or a lot of in-game currency, there is no way I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no to getting Raymond for free. Hey, we were just talking about how to stay connected with a friend who lives somewhere far away. Yeah, like, you could both agree to go outside and look at the same star in the night sky. Whoa, that's a great idea. Right? And then you can go inside and watch the same TV show at the same time. Hmm, I like the first part, but not sure about that. Why? What's wrong with that? Don't knock synchronized binge watching until you try this. Yeah, Molly's like more of a reader sort of thing. Sort of a person. You can call each other every two every two minutes to discuss the author's plot choices. Yeah, see, there you go. And then I have Molly. Molly is one of my favorite normal villagers. I have a lot of normal villagers in my island. Uh, let's see. We're gonna visit Mac. Yeah, Ra Raymond is that one cat that everybody memes about or like wants in their island. I didn't necessarily want Raymond. I mean, I don't mind having Raymond. He's really cool. Uh, I feel like it was just like people are living up to the meme that uh, he's like overhyped. And I mean, he's just another normal villager. He's not my favorite, but he's cool. 
sorry, I had to take a little sip of that water. Can't have be having my throat dry. That's something I need to do more often for these streams. My last stream went on for, I want to say like almost seven hours. It was like six hours and um, my throat was killing me by the end of it. Uh, we're gonna get Nuke Mouse. It looks like we are. All right, cool. Let's see. I think this is, okay, Sky. Sky's another one of those. I'm gonna come through in a bit for the stream because I'm a skate. Hey, thank you for tuning in, bro. Handle, handle. Gotta have those uh, necessary uh, skate sessions. But really nice of you, dude. I really appreciate it. Um, my island is snowing. <laughs> All right, I'll be trying to make it entertaining then, so you, so it's not boring. I, I'm gonna be screaming it up. No, I'm just kidding. No, but um, your island is snowing. Where are you? Like, are you on the? Uh, Cause I'm in the northern hemisphere, I think, in this game. So you're probably in the southern hemisphere then. That's cool. I have I have yet to go to an island where it's snowing, and I do want to say that uh, I uh, I do time travel. Uh, you know, hate me all you want for it, but I'm so fucking impatient. There's no way I'm gonna be waiting day by day in this game. Oh, I did not need to do that. Uh, let's see. Might as well take these weeds, I guess. Okay. Put the piece of uh, fence. Okay, put it back. And right here, we have Fang. Fang is a newer villager to my island because uh, I don't necessarily want to say how I do it, but uh, I'm able to get any villager that I want. And uh, I previously had Marshall. No, it was, her name was Megan. It was, it was a newer villager. And uh, I wanted to help somebody get a certain villager. So I had to kick her out, get somebody in, move them out and get Fang in to replace that villager. So uh, yeah. That's another thing that I do want to do. Um, I do want to help out people get villagers, be, uh, specifically villagers that have been out for a while. I Unfortunately, since they haven't made amiibo cards for villagers that are newer to this game, like Raymond, uh, Adi, uh, what's his name, Pedro? I think it's Pedro, the, sh the rainbow sheep that looks like he's crying. Um, I do want to help people get villagers uh because i think it'd be cool and uh you know something that i could do to get back i guess all right let's see let's see what the able sisters are selling today cop a new fit all right uh nothing too crazy she is selling the clout glasses though. Are these the clout glasses? No, these aren't clout glasses. They're not the clout glasses I want. I want Audi's clout glasses. Racing fit? No, I'm okay. I'm cool with my uh frog suit. We're gonna hop it up. Alright, I'm gonna go see what the nooks are selling. It is, uh, what I, if you notice, it's really early in the game. And that's because I set the time back so that I have, uh, you know, it's daytime. I have the shops open and uh, we could do more stuff in the game. So we're going to see what these dudes are selling. Ooh. I do like that hot tub, but I already have it. So I don't really, really need it. Let me see. I want to see if they, they're selling like a cool fishing rod or something like that. Uh, pretty basic. Let's see. But yeah, if you guys are tuned into the stream, I really do appreciate it. Uh, I am going to be making a formal video of uh, things to come. Um, you know, I'm going to talk about my stream schedule so that people know exactly when to expect my streams uh, to pop up. I'm going to talk about a giveaway that I plan to do. I think I mentioned it in previous streams, but I think I have a good idea of what I want to do uh, with it and uh, obviously revealing the prize but obviously like i said i've mentioned it before in previous streams um but yeah i'm gonna make a proper video explaining those sort of things and just talking about it um 
so that people know when to expect my streams. Because uh, I didn't stream yesterday. Um, I didn't stream. Uh, yeah, I didn't stream yesterday. And that's the thing. Um, I guess I could talk. Can you come see my island in a bit? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you could go ahead and um, um, what's it called? Uh, open your gates and set a dodo code and just put the dodo code in the chat and I'll go visit your island. Yeah, that's something that I do want to do. I want to come visit people's islands on these streams whenever I play Animal Crossing. Just check it out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as I was saying, um, uh, I uh, I do I want to make that video soon. Maybe probably tomorrow and hopefully put it out tomorrow so that it does uh, so it doesn't overlap with the stream for the next day. Uh, I guess I'll show off my house now that I'm here. Um. So this is, you know, the entry area, kind of a living room area, you know, you have the uh, little kitchen right here, fireplace with the TV, TV on top, you have a, a humidifier, more of like a Japanese sort of aesthetic kind of vibes, wanted to keep it chill, and yes, I have all these DIYs because uh, I'm too lazy to put them in my inventory and sell them, but I do like to do the thing where I give them to people who need sort these sort of things, so uh, that's why I keep them in the house. I'll show the first floor. Or the main floor first. So uh, right here we have like a little bit of a fashion room. You know, you have the sewing area. This thing right here. Right here on this wall you have the only two designs I've ever made. And uh, if I ever visit your island and you see your villagers walking around with that hat. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I do like to go to uh, People's Able Sister Shop and put that... <laughs> And these are just uh, designs from a clothing line that I really like. Uh, I made this room because I really do like, uh, I'm kind of into, you know, streetwear fashion, that sort of thing. So I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to make it. And the one thing I do want to do in the future, you know, obviously down the line, just to, like a like a dream goal of mine is to someday have like a cool clothing line, you know, have that merch. But uh, that's like way, way, way down the line, obviously. This is my bedroom, nothing too crazy. Have this really nice bed that I really like. Obviously, gotta have the uh, Nintendo Switch Animal Crossing Edition on deck. Sadly, I don't have it in person, but if I can't have it in person, I'll have it in game. <laughs> Alright, and then the last room in the uh, main floor. Gotta say what's up to uh, Slippy right here. He's always pissed off, but we love him anyways. I'll be reading in about 10 minutes. Alright, sounds good. Take your time. No worries. And right here is kind of a bathroom area. You know, you have the sink. You have that bathtub I was telling you about. And you have the uh, shower head over there. You have the automatic toilet. And uh, the uh, laundry machine. It's pretty cool. Uh, my main area is not too crazy. Nothing exciting, honestly. My bedroom's kind of lackluster. This room right here, or the fashion room, are probably my favorite. But my favorite rooms are the attic and the basement. So check out the attic. It's probably my favorite room in the whole house. And right here we have the arcade room. Still not finished because there's still a couple things that I want to put in. But yeah, you know, we have the uh, arcade section. We have the foosball. Want to add another one here. The pinball machines. You know, got to have your snacks here. I wish there was a, there is actually a vending machine that gives you soda, so I might have to put that in here, I think. And, uh, yeah, we have this really nice neon we're open sign. More arcade machines, and, uh, yeah. I think what brings it together is the, the wallpaper. The wallpaper is fucking awesome. Really happy I was able to get that. I think somebody donated it to me when I was, like, playing, and I just gave him a couple things. But, uh, yeah, and then the, we're gonna have the basement. The basement's also really fucking cool. And, uh, yeah, I'm really into, uh, really, really, really love heavy, heavy metal music and, like, post-hardcore and, like, like, uh, heavy metal sort of, sort of vibes, punk music, so I had to make the obligatory, uh, band room right here. We have the dual drum set, if you ever want to come in and, uh, drum battle me. We have a couple of, uh, guitars, bass, the, uh, stereo right here. Obviously, if you want to take a break at the switch on deck and the diffuser and we have this right here to jam it up and then right here if you ever want to scream it up let me see uh where's the email if you ever want to scream it up 
so you can vent all your frustrations right here. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it for my house. Um, I do want to add more stuff to it, make it feel a little bit more complete. I'm still not kind of iffy about this area right here. Obviously, I want to pimp out my bedroom. I'm pretty happy with this room right here, the fashion room. I do want to do a little bit more when it comes to the bathroom, but yeah, other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, to anybody who's new to or just joined the stream, I really appreciate you tuning in, playing some Animal Crossing, just vibing, hanging out. I uh, just showed off my house there, and uh, yeah, don't mind the mess in my island. <laughs> I know it's fucking uh, horrific sometimes, but it is what it is. I'm a guy, so it's a pretty guy island if I do say so myself. Uh, I want to put this back because I fucked up. Uh, this way on ground. Yep. So, uh, if you ever come, you ever do some shenanigans in my island, uh, I will curse you and, uh, sacrifice you to the, uh, Tom Nook Devils. So, uh, don't fuck around <laughs> when you come to my island. Nah, just kidding. But, uh, yeah. Or am I kidding? Your my house looks very nice. Thank you, thank you. Like I said, I do want to do a couple more things to it. I want to do a lot to my island, and, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. I feel like I need to get rid of all these fucking flowers, so... Anybody watching, you might, if you need some black roses, I got you, I got you. Um, I do want to make, finish this DJ area. I want to add more lights to it, put a little bit more, uh, yeah, lights, more furniture. Kind of going for like a neon aesthetic here. Kind of a DJ set. So you could jam it up with your homies right here. We got DJ KK on deck. Molly jamming it up, damn. Hell yeah. Very fitting timing. And, uh, yeah, I think I already went over here just to, like, kind of show off my villagers, but we have the residential area right here. Every villager is over here situated, vibing, except for two villagers because there wasn't enough room and there was an area in the back that I didn't want to take down, which I might consider taking down so that everybody's situated over here. But, uh, we have Marshall right here and, uh, we have uh, Raymond's house right here. Not because they're secluded or I don't like them, but simply because of room purposes. And I have, I've been having these fucking bamboo trees for the longest time here. Just no reason, no reason. I just wanted to take, take them out of my inventory, but yeah. We have a heart pond. Uh, yeah, I think that does it for my island. Uh, what I want to do is, uh... Obviously, we're going to go check out B's uh, stream, uh, stream uh, island in a little bit, kind of show it off. But uh, I want to check out the uh, shores, the beach, just to make sure there's no NPC. Uh, I've actually, you know, they updated the game ever since they uh, added the swimming feature, which I will do in a little bit. But um, I haven't seen the new version of Gulliver yet. Um, Gulliver, you know, the dude who, uh, washes up on your island. Pretty annoying. Takes a little bit to wake him up, but we'll see, we'll see. Where's he, where's he at, where's he at? He's kind of annoying, honestly. I, I don't like going around and, uh, digging for his bullshit chips for his phone. He keeps fucking up his phone. And, uh, I hate being his errand boy, or girl in this case, because I'm a girl in this game. And if before you question me, uh, I don't know. I feel like there's a, I feel like with every, a lot of video games that give you the option to be a boy or a girl, especially when there's like customizable options in the game, I, uh, I tend to go for girls simply because I like the aesthetic of it better. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, uh, we'll see. I also want to check at Red's here. I very highly doubt it. Does Cat want to leave too? Because her house is right there. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, thank fuck, thank fuck. So you get a golden recipe from Gulliver. From the new Gulliver? I actually haven't talked to him. I like saying homie and all, but I'm now worried I'm... But now I'm worried and upset. I don't know, what do you think? Who cares? It's fine. You're right. I mean, duh, it happens so much. It doesn't happen much, but I guess even when I psych myself out, homie. Yeah. Kat is uh, one of my favorites. She's an OG in my island. Her and Mac were the first two villagers that I've ever gone, and uh, I refuse to kick them out because uh, they're too. They mean a lot to me. <laughs> I don't know what it is. 
You don't want gold recipe? Oh, I didn't I didn't actually know that Gulliver gives you is it the new Gulliver? Because I know he's dressed differently. Um, but I think previously I never got a gold uh, recipe from him. But hey, if that's a thing now, then fuck yeah, I love you, Gulliver. <laughs> but uh, let's see. I'm gonna check out the nuke ATM to see what to see if there's anything new. It's Gulliver period, I think. Oh, okay. You're gonna find you're gonna find me talking a lot in this because I don't know I feel like Animal Crossing is just like a vibe sort of game and like you gotta obviously if you want to stream it you gotta like make your own content I guess uh, redeem Nuke Miles let's see uh yeah wait drink machine should I order one for the game room I'm gonna order one. You have to do his quest 30 times. Holy shit. Is it just for like, is it like a gold item or like one of those golden tools? Because if it's a golden tool, then I think it'll be kind of worth it, honestly. Because I, I think I only have like a golden slingshot recipe. So, and I think I, I really want the golden shovel. The golden shovel will be pretty fucking cool. Alright. I'm going to, let me see my inventory. My inventory is kind of stacking, so I'm going to go put some stuff away. And I'm going to get some goodies to uh, put in my inventory to see if uh, if I visit a couple islands. I'll go and uh, drop up some stuff in your island. It's the recipe for the golden shovel. Ooh, damn, dude. You know, that might be worth it. That might be fucking worth it, especially if you time travel. <laughs> It might take a lot of time traveling because Gulliver is kind of a, you know, hit or miss when it comes to him going to your island. But, um, let's see, uh, which is this one? Nah, that's the one. Put this away. Put this away. I need to donate that. A studded backpack I'll keep in here because I was wearing that. I have that. We're already past that. Mm, do I need weeds? I don't need weeds right now. Hedges? Don't need hedges right now. Giant clams. Basketball shoes? Oh yeah, that's what I was wearing. So I'll put those back. Alright, I'll go to your island right now, B. Let me just uh, put some stuff away real quick. And then I'll hit your island up. I'm gonna put this away, even if I was wearing it. Uh, put the weeds back, I guess. Put the giant clams. Reason why I have giant clams is because I was trying to, you know, I was helping out a friend get a villager that they wanted. Because, uh, like I said, I'm able to have, I'm able to get any villager that I want, uh, whenever I want. Because uh, uh, I don't want to explain my methods because I'm not entirely sure if that's allowed. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. I'm able to help people get villagers. Okay, uh, where's my storage? Let me get a couple things. I want to hook you up. All right, I'm on my way. <laughs> yeah, I'm hacking amiibos. It's like a, it's like a, all right, fuck it, I'll just talk about it, I guess. It's like a thing where, it's like an app on my phone, and it's like a, it kind of acts like a, mm, like a controller, and I'll, and it, obviously my phone has NFC and it works and everything, and uh, it, uh, I just download all the villager files, the uh, bin files, and uh, it reads the NFC. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Sadly, I can't get any of the new villagers because they don't have uh, amiibos out yet. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I want to visit someone. Alright. 
All right, so we're gonna be visiting Bee's Island. We're gonna do a little bit of a showcase. That's how I got Marina on my island. Yeah. I wish I would have known about that method beforehand because I found out about it on Twitter. Um, you know, if somebody showed off the app and how they do it. Uh, let me see. 7F E2E. Um, I'll get on bro if you want to travel more. Sure, man. Sure. It'll be cool. Like I said, um, I want to show off a little bit, a couple of islands <laughs> just for the stream. But, uh, what was I saying? So before I knew about this whole, like, uh, you know, down the app and do the bin file sort of thing, I, uh, I actually went on Etsy and I bought like three villager amiibo tags cause, uh, I really wanted a couple villagers. So I got Anka. Uh, Marina and uh, what's her name on uh, Molly but then shortly thereafter it wasn't too expensive it was only like 10 bucks for all three of them and um, but yeah I kind of wish I knew about that because uh, shortly thereafter I found out about that method and I just was able to do it people sell those hacked amiibos here in Utah <laughs> hey I mean if it makes you money oh my god dude this is the first time I've actually seen snow in Animal Crossing because, like I said, I time travel ahead, but I don't try. I don't try. I haven't time traveled too far ahead. It's usually like days, and then usually what I do is I time travel back. Wow, it looks amazing. Let's see. So we're visiting V here. He's in the chat. Alrighty. Oh, I love the sound of the snow on the feet. Oh, aren't you able to get these? Nice, yeah. If you don't mind, B, I want to get a couple snowflakes. Hey, we have B here. B looking snazzy. Do you not have emotes yet? I wonder if you have emotes yet. I don't know what how how far into the game you are. Let me see your map. So you got Rocket and Sprocket. <laughs> That's actually pretty amazing. Let me see. I think your layout. Hmm. The town square is actually not where. No, I think. Because I was what I was gonna say is I think. Your island kind of had the same setup as mine when I first started, but no the. The rivers are like a little bit different, but yeah, it looks pretty. It looks a little similar. All right, so let's check it out here. So his uh, native fruit is uh, pears, which is my way better than what I got. I got cherries. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna visit his villagers real quick. Talk to him a little bit. Chat him up. So I don't know who this is. Might be Sprocket. Yeah, this is Sprocket. Kind of lucky guess. Let's see. Oh, a new face. Are you visiting from another island? My name's Frocket. You're seven. Cool. I just moved here a little while ago, so I'm still trying to figure out all the best boulders to live sort. Hey, if you see any cool boulders, let me know about them next time you're on Beehive, okay? Beehive. I love that name. So, uh, Sprocket, a little bit of a bodybuilder or something, wanted me to give him some boulders. What the hell, dude? Or it, because it's a robot. Look like looks like no one's here. Oh, is this Rockets House? Oh, they might be out and about. Okay. Uh let's see. Where are you, B? I wanna give you some things. Wow, this looks freaking awesome, dude. I just love the snow vibe. Hey, here you go. I'm gonna give. I don't think I can put him here, but here, come here. Let me see. Uh, drop item. Drop item. Drop item. You go ahead and take them. So the gold is gonna come in clutch later on, and those large star fragments, obviously, they're useful um, when you get the other DIYs. But then the nuke mile tickets are for when. Uh, 
uh, later on <laughs> no problem be no problem hopefully you are able to put those to good use especially the gold the gold's a little bit of pain in the ass to uh, you know get more of but uh as i was saying um what was i saying <laughs> completely lost my train of thought um the nook mount tickets the nook mount tickets are gonna help you get more villagers so uh hopefully they uh come in clutch and hopefully you're able to get a couple more villagers to uh fish okay i'll fish um you get a couple more villagers that you actually want because uh, later on you'll get the opportunity to get more villagers all right so this might be a little bit tricky because uh i'm going based off the game audio um i'm gonna open up my island if y'all want to come check it out okay sounds good man thank you bro um i'm gonna open up open up i'm going to uh I for oh we got a rocket here hey seven how are you how's stuff on milo bahaha no we have never met i'm just messing with you i heard someone talking about you hi i'm rocket you liking it here gotta say i love beehive more every day that i'm here anyway i'll stop waiting y'all come by again soon oh you're not waiting me out breath let me stand still for a bit it is july 18th on your island saturday so you might be time traveling Time traveling it up too. All right, let's see what we got here. How do I get across the river? You uh, you get like a uh, jumping pole, and uh, you get it from uh, I think you, I think it's like you have to play a little bit more to uh, craft it. Uh, but yeah, because you don't have a nook shop just yet. And that's something that you get down the line. So what I recommend you do is um. Obviously, you just keep playing the game, keep talking to Tom Nook, make sure that you're doing what he's telling you to do, and then eventually you'll get the museum. And I think that's like the big, the first big thing that you do in the game. Obviously, get the museum with uh, Blathers, and um, uh, what's it called? Uh, yeah, you uh, you just want to keep talking to Tom Nook, keep doing what he wants you to do for him. And then uh, eventually you'll get more crafting, uh, crafting uh, stuff, crafting recipes. I'm not entirely sure how far into it you have to get the vaulting pool, but obviously if you if you time travel, you'll get it faster. Um, but that's completely up to you. I know some people are completely against time traveling, and I know when the when the game first came out, I was like not time traveling because I wanted to like really really enjoy it. But eventually you get to a point where you want to do things and uh it's a really pain in the it's a pain in the ass to just having to wait such a long time for things because uh you got to keep in mind this game is like you know real world based real time based and uh some things take up to like a literal fucking day but let's see uh gonna cross off this uh fake leaf or whatever it's called Walking leaf. Looks pretty crazy. But yeah, you'll cross the rivers eventually. Just just remember to uh, keep talking to Tom Nook and doing what he wants you to do. But yeah. Did you just did you just uh barely get Animal Crossing or did you just start playing it? Just wondering. Come to my island B. I'll hook you up. <laughs> I could actually wait. Let me see. Where? Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go craft something. I could probably uh, craft you a vaulting pool, actually. If I'm not mistaken. Cause I remember hooking up my friend up with the uh, like a uh, with the fishing rod before they were able. They were even. They even had the ability to do it, so. But let me see. Let me use your crafting table. Are you able to craft yet, B? I mean, uh, fish yet? Cause, uh, I could make you the stuff that you need if you need a couple things. Let me know. 
but uh, I'll hook you up with the uh, vaulting pool. Just come over here, close to the town area. Oh, you're right here? Okay. So there we go. So this is the vaulting pole. This is what you want to use to uh, jump over the rivers. <laughs> Big think. Alright. Yeah, so now you could explore the rest of your island. I don't know. You don't have a fishing rod? Okay, I could craft. I could hook you up with the fishing rod. No problem, my dude. I got you. Let's see. I'll make you the good fishing rod too. I'll make you like two or three. Uh, I wish I would have known. I would have bought you a couple like of the really good ones from my Nook store. You should you should uh, add me up by the way on um, switch and then you can come to my island whenever I'm open and then uh, what's it called uh you could come and buy some stuff because I have the upgraded nook store and everything like that you reset your data two times oh snap what the heck is there any reason why like did you not like your villagers or were you too lazy to take down all your island? <laughs> okay, um, let me see. I'm gonna drop them off the same area. Oh, you, you could have this too. I, I know I'm being like probably a little bit too generous, but you could have that too. It's been sitting in my freaking inventory for so long. And I don't really need it, because I'm stacking. I'm stacking. Not to flex, but we stacking. Alright, Carl, give me a second. Let me see. I'm just checking the message real quick. Alright, my bad, my bad. I don't like how your other, you didn't like how your other islands look? Ah, okay, okay. My bad, sorry about that, I was just checking my phone real quick. Completely unprofessional. <laughs> no, but it was uh, kind of important. But, um, yeah, uh, I was actually contemplating on doing that, but, uh, it's just such a pain in the ass to do literally everything and to start all over again, like, mad props to everybody who actually has done that, because it takes a lot of patience, it's just, I don't have the willpower to do that. I'm even surprised, that, so my island was completely, how it looked, it was completely different, like, I had mountains, and I had all these sort of things, and... Terraforming in general is just so fucking annoying. Like you have to have a, such a level of patience that uh, I don't know how people have, but um, yeah, it's uh, pretty fucking crazy. But uh, yeah, props to you for doing them, man. Um, I don't think I w I have the willpower to do it, especially to get all the villagers that I want. I mean, I could do it, but. Yeah, I'd rather just like tear down my island and restart it rather than having to start all over again I feel like if I were to do that I'll just make another account on my switch and just do that Which I think is something that I, I'm considering doing for the stream because I mean obviously I have my island hey, You got the squid because I have my island, but uh, I feel like making a new one On stream I think that'd be pretty fucking fucking cool fucking <laughs> I think that'd be pretty cool to show off on stream but yeah, what was I doing? Let me cut. Let me get a couple more snowflakes. I don't know what I need snowflakes for. I don't have any recipes that require snowflakes yet. So we'll see. Alright. Alright, B. So, uh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and uh, check out Mars's island. I don't know if you want to come through. The, he put the Dota code up in the chat. So uh, if you do come through, I'll see you there. But uh, yeah. Thank you for having me over, dude. Let's go check it out. Go check out Mars's island. Mario's island. Oh, fuck. So I'm gonna put I wanna go home. Sorry about that. I'm like having something pump up. <laughs> Ooh, he's gonna hook it up. He's gonna hook it up, B. So I So yeah. I would recommend you go to Mars's Island. Alright. Kind of excited to go to your island, Mario, because uh, I haven't visited and I have a feeling it looks pretty cool. But yeah, so one of the goals that I had, <laughs> one of the goals that I had for when people visit, you know how you get this like little cut screen, cut scene of you, you know, panning over your island. I want my island to look good only in the section where that you see when you're uh, on the sky, <laughs> so people could think, oh wow, this island looks freaking fucking awesome. But then you explore the rest and it's complete shit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah i think that'd be a pretty cool meme but i don't know exactly i don't, like there's probably somebody there's literally there's got to be somebody out there who has fucking done that before who only made that area look good and then uh completely have their other part of the island look like complete shit uh do you need anything mario because uh I, so i could get anything before i dip or you're good I feel like you're good, but if you need anything, let me know. If you need, I don't know if you need Nook Mile tickets, cause uh, I have a, I have an abundance of them, cause of uh, I got hooked up by somebody, and uh, after I found all the villagers that I want, and I don't really need anything. You're good. All right, let me head over then. Ready? Wanna fly? Okay. Let's see. Let me get back to the chat to get the uh, Dodo code. I gotta find a way better setup for my stuff because uh, the way I sit and the way that um, my microphone setup is not the best. Uh, let me see, search via Dota code. 5W 46 B. But yeah, I want to eventually, because in the room that I'm in, uh, there's like no space for a desk. Uh, Isla putito. <laughs> Love that. Um, in the area, in, this, in the room that I'm in, um, there's not a lot of space for a, a desk. So I have my laptop to the side of me and, and my microphone in a good area. But the, the only problem right now that I have is my sitting situation. Because I have a chair and everything, I could sit in front of my TV and play, but um, I don't have, I wouldn't have anywhere to properly put my mic. So what I need to get is either a mic stand, or, uh, or but I, th I think at that point, I I'm just going to wait until I get a better microphone. But yeah, and I was thinking about it last night, um, um, and uh, I, I'm going to probably 
commission somebody to do like a, a stream layout for me and uh so that i could get more things set up like uh i do want to put up a donation a donation link just for you know if anybody feels generous enough to donate they could do so um you know obviously i wanted i kind of wanted to wait but uh for like 100 subscribers or something like that but i just feel like i'll have it and maybe just not really promote it too much obviously because i don't want to be begging people for money that's not what i want to stream for i just want to stream to hang out and stuff but just to have it just to have it if people want to you know use it um, whenever they want and uh i do want to get like the music situ situation situated but i just wanted to make it look a little bit better than what it currently is all right so we are in mario's island right now nice i like this right here i like how you the first thing you get to see is the vi the visitor on the island let me switch up my my look oh fuck i brought the wrong frog suit god damn it what time is it on your island 8.59. Oh, I think the nook... I think the store is about to close. You're watching Holden, dude? Alright, that's fine. Holden, no, Holden, dude, is pretty cool. We'll be forever grateful for, uh... <laughs> uh, we'll be forever grateful for the time he raided me. Let me check out your map. I like checking out the maps. Oh, nice, nice. I like this area. See, like, I want mine to look a little bit more spread out like that. Like, the residential area. Have it be a little bit, you know, more well-versed. Alright, so we got Marina. We got Chops, Ken, Maggie, Annalisa, Piper, Mira, Gail, uh, Hugh, and Julia. Pretty well-versed uh, villager list. I feel like, I feel like my island, the villagers are like those, uh, like stereotypical e-girl villagers, <laughs> but I don't know. I just, I really like those. And this is, this is exactly what I mean by, I want to expand on my residential area for reasons like this. So that the villagers uh, houses, um, look like this, like actual houses. Like they have their front yard, they have their little bush, they kick you out um little area right here yeah it's already nine so they probably kicked you out <laughs> but yeah like this you know have them look like actual houses mine just kind of look like they look they live in like a really uh plain residential area these look like you know actual houses Oh snap, he's hooking it up. Yeah, this is really nice right here. All of it's really nice to be honest with you. Got a soccer field. Damn, dude. Gonna play that soccer, bro. Got a chest right here. Damn, dude. This is fucking awesome. I, w I was gonna make something like this, like like this right here, but I think it was gonna be basketball instead of soccer. But I need to re-edit my island, man. This is like this is only making me want to edit my island even more. Jeez, this is pretty fucking cool. Wait, what day are you in? July twenty seventh. Okay, so you're a little bit ahead. Check out the rest. Oh, nice. You got a little arcade area on the outside. Nice. Like, got a little instrument area right here on top. That's what my island needs. It needs a little bit more of a... More things to do on the outside or to see on the outside. That's why I made the little hangout area. Um, but I want to add more stuff like that. I need to get back into it. I just haven't... Like I said, I, I when I first... Um, what's it called? Uh, when I first got Animal Crossing, I was like so fucking into it, and uh, I kind of burnt out because that's all I was doing for a good while. So um, yeah. And this is I'm guessing another villager center, Marina's house. Okay.
Got a little workstation. That's another thing I need to do is make more workstations. The instrument area is like a, a concert hall. Nice. Yeah, that, that looks it looks really nice. I really like it. I really like the the vibe of your island. Yeah, oh, that's another thing I wanted to do too. I, I'm like I'm just like realizing a bunch of shit when I visit when, when I'm seeing your stuff. Um, but um, I want to. Um, I, I I don't know if you guys saw my orchard. But uh, I want to spread it out so that there's different fruits throughout the island, not just in one concentrated area. Oh my god, dude, is this the entrance to your fucking house? Oh, I thought it was the entrance to your house. I was like, god damn, dude. And I thought mine was cool. I'll go slow. Oh, you have a lot of blue roses. Nice. Yeah, this island is pretty fucking cool. Hey, let me check it out. Alright. Oh, this is your house. Okay, nice. Nice. Dude, these snow cones are fucking cool, dude. This one looks cool in my house. Or in my gaming area. Alright, man, let's go check out. Let's go uh, peep out and uh, dog Mario's house. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Check out my house. Yeah, let's do it. Sorry for that. I'm. I need to sip it up. Mmm. Holy shit, dude. Damn. Oh my god, dude. Okay, first of all, I'm jealous of this wallpaper right here, and this flooring. What the fuck? I think I have the flooring. I don't have the wall. You got the plaques on deck. Damn, the bronze, silver, and the gold. You got the little workstation right here. You got the, this, like, this right here. This this couch setting right here. Nice, I fucking love this right here. You got the dual TVs. Hell yeah, dude. Alright, alright, what's next? Your bedroom? Alright, let's check out the bedroom. Or even, 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 if it even is a bedroom, I don't know. I'm just going off the layout I have in my house. But, uh, let's see. Yeah, this is the bedroom right here. Got a closet, got the bed, pretty nice bed right here. Got a little workout station right here. Let me keep it healthy. Dude, I need that fan, dude. I need a fan because IRL, dude, I cannot sleep without a fan on. Even if it's fucking cold outside or inside, I need to hear that noise. I don't know if anybody relates to that. But, uh, I love the fan noise. I don't know. Alright. Let's check out this room over here. Damn, dude. Your your house is fucking cool. Uh, you got the little dining area and the kitchen area. Nice. That's what I feel like doing in my, uh... I might... You, you're gonna hear me say that a lot, but I'm probably gonna take a lot of inspiration from your island. Because, uh, this is, uh, really awesome. But uh, yeah, like separating the, because I have the bathroom area, and then I have the kitchen and the living room sort of area, and they're both like in the same area, so I kind of, yeah. You're watching Holden killing a Xenoblade boss? Hey, it's okay, man. Holden's pretty cool. Yeah, I was watching a stream the other day, and he was uh, playing. So this is like the actual bathroom area. Oh, nice. I think I bought this. I'm not sure. I, I might have not bought it. Because it was like really expensive and I didn't have the money on hand. And I think I was like a little bit too lazy to uh, go to my bank <laughs> and take out the money. Alright, so let's see. I have a feeling these two, these last rooms are going to be fucking crazy. Oh, fuck, dude. Damn. Puts my band room to shame. Look at this fucking guitar. This guitar right here is fucking awesome. I need a piano. I need the amps. Damn, dude. Looking like Guitar Center up in here. Fucking awesome. Oh, your basement's empty? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Well. 
I'm gonna still see it. <laughs> I'm still gonna scope it out. <laughs> I don't know why. Just to finish it off. Got a little secret DIYs up in here. All right, all right. I see you. All right, man. Damn, dude. You know, seeing your island, man, really makes me want to edit out the rest of my island. But uh, yeah, that's the thing. Like, it just takes time, and like, you you have to want to make your island look good. And for like, for some like, I completely demolished my island. I flattened the fuck out of it, right? So I was like, okay, I want to do this. I want to do that. But I feel like there's a lot of like empty areas, a lot of uh, missing space. And uh, I feel like I need to fill out more stuff and, you know, kind of separate areas that are a little bit too, uh, how do I say, it? clustered or convoluted. I don't know if that's the right word, but but yeah, I feel like I need to do that. Spread out the, the residential area, kind of move the shops around. Maybe. I like the, I like the idea of having the both shops right next to each other. Thanks for the balls. <laughs> the bells. <laughs> Yeah, man, he hooked it up. He gave you a lot of bells. Uh, let me check out your um, Nook's Cranny. But hey, whoever's tuning in, I really do appreciate it. Kind of playing a little bit of Animal Crossing. Um, might take a little bit of a break in a little bit. Depends on if um, what I'm waiting for is actually happening or not at the time that I think it is. But um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. If not, then I'll just keep going. Okay. Uh, okay. And uh, yeah, this store is already closed, unfortunately. Go we'll talk to some of the villagers. We've got Mira or Myra right here. You're from an off island. Call, call me Myra. So, you're seven. Cool. I never forget a name. How <laughs> are you liking Isla Putito? <laughs> I can't, my island is like not named after anything original, it's just the name of my dog. <laughs> oh, something that I didn't, oh, obviously I couldn't do in uh, B's island because he didn't have it yet, is check out the uh, museum. So let's check out the museum. I got brothers here, and I always like to start in the fossil area. Uh, I think my fossil area is almost complete. I just need a couple of... A little couple things here and there. I think I'm missing a couple things in this area. Still missing a couple fossils. But, uh, yeah. Let's play Overwatch. I'm probably going to switch to Overwatch after this. Uh, okay, okay, cool. It's all good, man. Yeah, it's, like I said, I wanted to play Animal Crossing for just a little while. Um, because I, um, what's it called? Uh, something might come up in a little bit. And I might take a little bit of a break. Like, put the stream on hold while that gets handled. Um, don't want to get too much into detail, maybe for another time. But, uh, yeah. But, yeah. Your museum's pretty boring. You haven't donated much stuff? Yeah, sometimes I completely forget to donate stuff. I have a lot of things in my inventory. I have, like, fossils that I have in, like... Have hit, I haven't had him checked out, check out, so I don't know if it's something that I'm missing, and that's the thing, like, I don't even know what I'm missing, like, I don't keep track, I kind of just wing it, and if he have, and if I have something that he hasn't had yet, then, fucking great, but yeah, and I'm gonna check out your, your uh, art section, I only have, like, I think one painting, because red never fucking comes over, dude. Fucking asshole. Oh, this painting, nice. I do like the fact that they added the art museum sort of thing. But red, dude, like red barely comes over. And I hate how you could only buy one thing at a time. You have like 250 fossils that you haven't done that you haven't checked. Holy shit, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> You could have a, you, you probably already have a, a fucking museum full of stuff. Like, I mean, uh, you could probably complete your museum already. It's funny because I saw a Twitter, a video on Twitter where a guy has like a, a complete inventory of stuff that he hasn't checked yet. And he goes to Blathers to check it. <laughs> 
and like only one of the things that he uh, has him check is like new. Fucking rip. But yeah. But yeah, like I said, if you guys are tuned in, thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, I might, or I'm probably gonna, um, what's it called? Uh, switch it over to Smash after the break, depending on when the break happens. Uh, cause I do, it's not like I want to take a break from the stream. Uh, I like to put you guys on hold for a little bit, but, um, something might come up that's uh, kind of important and, uh, I don't necessarily want to cut the stream short. Um, but who knows, you know, I don't want to end the stream and then come back on the stream. I'd rather like keep it on hold, but, uh, but who knows? I don't know. I don't know. What, what do you guys think is better? Do you guys think it's better to, um, do you guys think it's better for me to end the stream and then obviously, you know, have that notification come up again when I do decide to stream again, uh, tonight or do I, should I just put it on hold and keep the same stream? I feel like it'd be I don't know, I feel like if I want to, like, obviously get more viewers again, then it'd be better to end the stream and come back on getting on stream, or is it just more convenient to just, uh, put it on hold? I don't know what you guys want to do. It's up to you, it's completely... You'll be up for a little while. Ah, okay, I see. Mm, 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 mm. But yeah, this sounds really nice, dude. Really, really like it. I want to visit Joanna's stream, uh, stream <laughs> island sometime soon, too. That'd be cool. I see her post about it, and it looks really nice. So hopefully sometime we could, uh, check that out, too. Let's see... Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and dip out. Thank you for having me, bruh. <laughs> yeah, red spawn rate is fucking atrocious, dude, because there'd be times where I get into that groove of uh, uh, just time skipping for whatever reason that I am time skipping for, and I still don't see him. And when there, when I do see him, it's like, I don't know, I don't know what he has, doesn't really interest me. Hers is way better than mine. Yeah, hers looks... I mean, yours is really nice. I obviously have not seen hers to the complete extent, only from the screenshots that she's shared. But hers looks really cool. Like those uh, Twitter ones that I've seen before. And like I said, it's all a matter of like... You taking that fucking time to do it. Make your island look really great. Like... I, I, I know that I can make something better, but I, I'm like super impatient, like I hate terraforming. Terraforming takes so much fucking time to do, and it's just such a pain in the ass. You know? And I'm not the most creative person. <laughs> I have my ideas here and there, I have my short spurts. <laughs> yeah, your island right now is the best because you have snow, and snow is automatically uh, top tier when it comes to islands it just makes the whole aesthetic look really really nice she put in the work for sure yeah man like you gotta put in you gotta put in work to make your island look really good you know sometimes i feel like when i first made my island how it is right now you know you know put aside the messiness of it and everything when i first started editing my island and everything i was like damn this looks really cool and then i go visit somebody who is donating something to me and they have a fucking god tier island and it puts mine to shame. But we don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Something that I do want to get rid of is this overabundance of fucking flowers that gets out of control. And you know, I time skip a lot. You know, like I said, I help people get villagers and uh, sometimes the uh, the flowers get a little too out of hand. Something that I'm going to do right now, just to get it out of the way, is uh, I'm going to dig out these trees. I, uh, been meaning to do this for a while, just being a fucking lazy ass, I didn't do it, but, uh, I'm gonna put them somewhere else in the island to, uh, make them grow, because right here, I feel like it's, like, they're too close to each other, and they're not gonna grow. 
But yeah, just to complete the orchard. But yeah, this is probably my favorite area in the island. I feel like the DJ section would be my favorite if it was complete, but not. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm doing the complete opposite of what I was trying to do. I need to grow them a little bit apart. So that they actually grow, you know? Okay, let's put that there. I'm gonna put one just randomly here. Uh, put one here. I don't really care, I'm not gonna have them here. And I'll put one here, why not? Alright, sweet. Okay, so uh, what do I want to do next? I'm gonna get rid of these ugly fucking fish because I hate them so much. I don't know why I always get them. The bass. I'm just gonna sell them right here. Don't feel like going all the way inside. Oh shit. Can we get some Angies in the chat for Rex? <laughs> for Rex spawn rate? Hell yeah, drop some Angies in the chat, man. Drop some angry emojis in the chat for uh, that horrible spawn rate. Let me go donate the let me go donate the uh, the bug that I caught earlier to good old blathers. How many items can I hold? Are you talking to me or uh, B? And if so, what do you mean like in my inventory? Walking leaf, what a wretched thing. Alas, I would like to ask. Yes, tell me more. Let me know about your dread. I see. In that case, mm-hmm. What a fraud. What a phony. The walking leaf is, in fact, the very embodiment of a lie. This master mimic looks like a tree leaf all the way down to its tiniest details. In fact, this bug has been known to sway to and fro as it walks, just so it looks like a leaf blown in the wind. The fakery works. These insects look so much like leaves that even leaf-eating insects nibble, like to nibble on them. Lying liars indeed. <laughs> he fucking hates it. I love it. What do you mean? Like, uh, in my inventory? Right here? You mean here in my inventory? How many items can I hold? This many? <laughs> I don't know if that's what you're referring to. All right, I'm gonna put my wet suit on. Wait, what? I do have it on. I do have it here. What the fuck? I was just wearing the wrong one. Yeah, I'm good. I don't know what you're referring to, but yeah, I'm good. Oh man, I didn't get the dive I wanted. I needed to run. I'm swimming in my Jordans and all. Alright, I do want to get... I haven't gotten any of the pearls. Unfortunately. Because I don't know if I'm diving wrong. You did some grinding on Stardew Rally. Nice, dude, nice. I have yet to play that game. I do want to play it sometime. It looks really, really chill. And doesn't it also have like a little bit of like a dating simulator sort of vibe to it too? Because I mean, can't you like interact with like some of the villagers or the townspeople in that game? And like, kind of, uh, what's it called? Uh, get together with them or something like that? We got a squid, bro. An octopus. Let's see. I think it's a scallop, the one that uh, makes the little otter dude come out. 
But we'll see, we'll see. Do one to get him to spawn. Nice, we got the jellyfish. I don't, I don't think I'm missing a lot of things. Let me just double check. I'm talking, could be talking out of my ass here. Probably I'm missing a lot of things. Yeah, I'm missing quite a bit. Hmm. Okay. But I don't know if it's like a seasonal thing or if it's uh just a thing where uh where I had just I'm just completely missing a lot of things. Let's see what do we got here? Another octopus. I do want to add more things to like my beach. Just to have it more of a vibe, you know. I'm gonna get back on shore. When you get in the mind of Stardew, it's not fun. <laughs> yeah. Sounds. Are they all talking? Oh, I thought they were all talking. Come back for more, huh? Do I have anything I could give them? I like it. I like. I'm really bad at giving my my villagers and stuff. Bang being a homie, cleaning up the town hall. I'm gonna fish a little bit just to vibe. Why is it not fun? Like, what is it? What's it about? Like, what do you do in the mines? Obviously, you mine and get materials, but what, like, what about it is not necessarily fun. Ooh. Ah, oh my god. Monsters? There's monsters in it? What the hell? Kind of like Minecraft, where you get the skeletons and shit. Damn. Didn't expect that. I haven't seen that actually. You almost died. <laughs> Damn, well that, uh, that would have not been good. So I'm debating on what to do, uh, not in game, but something for my laptop. So I got a new laptop, right? And that's what I'm using to stream. And uh, I'm contemplating on what to do because there's two things I want to do to it. So I have the ability to expand the storage because I'll be honest with you guys, the storage that I came with was kind of trash, only 128 gigabytes. But, I could expand it um, I'll be with an internal, putting in an internal hard drive or getting an external hard drive for cheaper, right? One of those that you have to connect via USB. Coming back from skating, how's it going? It's going pretty good, man. Just vibing right now on Animal Crossing. So it's been pretty cool. Oh, motherfucker, I didn't want it. But thank you. Um... So, like I said, you get an internal hard drive or an external hard drive. Now, the reason why I'm contemplating is because the internal hard drive is a little bit more expensive than the external hard drive. And the external hard drive, uh, I could get it for cheaper and it, uh, it has more memory, right? So, for example, if I were to get the internal hard drive, it, for 500 gigabytes, will be almost 70 bucks. And then the external hard drive, which is a t one terabyte, costs almost half of that, like 50 bucks. So I'm like debating on what to do there. Another thing that I want to do is upgrade the RAM on my computer so it runs faster. And I'm thinking that if I do that, it'll let me stream at a higher quality. But I still don't know. I don't know what exactly what I want to do just yet. If I find good prices, maybe I could get both, but who knows.
I know what hard drive I would get, either ex external or internal. And um, you made a snowman, nice. I didn't even know you could do that. But yeah, I'm not entirely sure about the prices for the Rams though. Give me one second. Sorry about that. I have to close the door. Uh, you hope to get a good gaming PC so that we can search Left 4 Dead? Hell yeah, dude. I'm too down for Left 4 Dead. I'm actually... Uh, I want to cop it. Why are so many people wanting to leave or do stuff? Let me see. For a chess outfit? I mean, huh? Okay, thank you. Thank you, stuff. Um... Still down for a white cloth just make a love session Friday? Hell yeah, dude, you know I am. Too down for that. Debating on if I want to stream that or not. Um, but maybe it's just chill between both of us. Been a little bit. But yeah. Mm. Watch this cop left for dead and it releases on Switch and PS4. <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, our luck. That's usually what ends up happening, to be honest with you. You buy one thing for one console, console and then it re releases either physically or for cheaper. <laughs> These dudes are still talking it up. Let's see. I don't care. They're all goofy. How's that? I'm just asking for an honest opinion. Can you get me out of this? Seven. Marshall is bugging me to choose his best post. Can you pick one so I don't have to? Start over again, I guess. In the second one. Alright, that one's winning so far. I didn't even see it. The least goofy was the second one. Thanks for ending the nonsense. What was the point of that nincompoopery anyway? <laughs> it's brand recognition, buddy. Picture one of these going viral, then picture me riding the wave of attention as long as it lasts. I ain't your buddy, and I ain't got no idea what you're brothering about. Damn, what a fucking asshole, dude. He was just trying to get hype. I'm down for a streamer now, whichever. Los Blancos. <laughs> the whiteies. Yeah. The homies. We got Leffen right here. And we got Fang. Marshall straight up be looking like left in there. Alright. Honestly, don't know what I want to do. What I want to do in game in terms of Animal Crossing right now. So maybe I'll switch it up to Smash soon ish. Let me see here. Yeah, because I think what I what I'm gonna do is uh, rather than me like having to mess around with my island on stream, I'm probably gonna make another account on my Switch and just like start that up for the stream. But obviously not right now. Later on, whenever I decide to play Animal Crossing again. But yeah, yeah, because right now there's not a lot to do in my island. 
there's no crazy event going on that I could grind. See what that was. Probably just some materials. Soccer uniform top. Yeah, boy. All right, let's see. Yeah, there's not a lot going on, honestly. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch over to Smash. What time is it? Yeah, we kind of showed off the island and visited two islands. Um, it's been like an hour. Yeah, it's been about an hour. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna switch over to Smash to, uh, kinda vary it up a little bit. Let me go, let me double check the nuke cranny real quick. I don't remember what they're selling. But yeah, once I check this out, we'll definitely, we'll for sure switch it over to, to Smash. We got rolled to the homie. <laughs> he's fucking weird, but he's cool. I don't even know why they made him a jock. They should have made him lazy. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Alrighty. We're gonna switch it up. Uh, let me save it now. Okay. Save complete. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, give me a second. Let me just switch the games real quick. Oh shit, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I'm just pressing shit. <laughs> also, can you add a pass password to the arena? Um, yeah, sure. I'll add a password to the arena. The reason why I didn't do that in the past is because, um... I, I wasn't exactly sure how many people from the stream were gonna join up. So I just kinda let people from the outside, um... Uh, join up. But, uh, sure. I'll add it up. Turn on spirits for fun. <laughs> Let me see. Uh... Make it simple like 15. Uh... Let me see. Let me see. Room music. Yeah. All skill levels. Uh, I'm debating on, uh, Okay. I'll put spirits on, I guess. For a little bit, for sure.
Just for the fuck of it, I guess. Uh, I'll make it, yeah, 15. Alright. Arena with Spiriton. Just for a short time, not too long. Because uh, honestly, I don't play with I don't play with spirits. Never have actually, uh, so I don't know how this is gonna work out. Let me see. <laughs> I only have two on deck. And uh, let me play. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna play Joker for now because uh, last time I kind of let myself down when I was playing Joker. So we'll see. I don't even know what my spirit does. So we'll see what's up. Alright. So I'm not entirely sure what it does. Thank you, thank you. Oh, what the fuck? No. It heals you? Okay, that's kind of OP. Seriously, don't even know what mine does. It's kind of fucked that yours heals you. I'm like not even able to focus right now. I don't even know what's. Fortunate SD. I need to learn better neutral with Joker so that I'm not too reliant on Arsene and then when I do have Arsene I need to be able to take advantage of that because uh, I feel like I play a little bit too passive when I have Arsene when I should be like on the offensive obviously there's the whole point of Arsene you know a comeback mechanic gotta take advantage of it
I'm so distracted by you uh, healing that I can't even focus on anything else. Trying to keep you there. Didn't pan out. You healing yourself is fucking OP, dude. Thank you. Ooh, damn. Really predictable uh, recovery there by me. It was a little bit too far away for that. I could have actually spiked me if I was at a higher percentage. I seriously have no idea what my spirit even does. Thank you. Uh, what the hell? I was facing the wrong way. Good shit. Alright. Sorry, I was listening to something. Alright, so we got a centric in the chat, or in the uh, game. I feel like I need a better spirit, but obviously I need to get to that sort of thing. Cause I, I mean, spirits are kind of fucky, so I don't even know what the fuck half the spirits do. Oh my god, he just went for it right in front of him, too. B playing really kind of camping right now. Gotta be careful, though, because heavy. I mean, Link is a pretty is a heavy motherfucker. Damn, getting lucky with these parries, too. It also doesn't help that. Uh, ooh, but the SD, unfortunately. It also doesn't help that uh, B is able to heal himself. But it is what it is when you play with spirits. There's some really OD spirits. Ooh, but he fucking tech that. That was crazy. Yeah, so it kind of sucks because 
any damage that uh, Eccentric is racking up, if he doesn't get any damage con going consistently, um, B is just able to recover because of his spirit. Let's see, how much percentage does he heal every time? Doesn't happen all the time, so it's good, I guess. Like right now, it's not happening. I think it's like 3% each time. And I don't know what uh, Eccentric's Hoopa um, spirit does either. I, I, I seriously do not know what my Deku Link spirit was even doing for me. If I had anything at all. Oh, but that. Taking another stock? And that side smash? Or dash attack? Barely being able to take that first stock. That bomb not really doing anything for him. Damn. B racking up a good amount of damage here. Nice up B. Caught him up there. Damn, that uh the smash attack barely was able to connect. <laughs> Put that down air. Connecting with the trade. Again, that dash attack hits fucking hard. I have your stream if I just had to shower. I still have your stream if I just had to shower. Uh, it's all good, yeah. Uh, we're playing Smash. for. We're playing uh, with Spirits just for a little bit. It's a little fucky, to be honest with you. <laughs> it doesn't make things a lot fair, when, especially when you have a Spirit that heals you throughout the match. But yeah, B takes the match. Alright, I don't think I need my headset. I was like wearing my headset this whole time. I don't think I need it. Alright, I seriously don't know what my Deku Link spirit does. But we're just going to have to go for it. Three, Your spirit level is 99. I think... I mean, if it, if, if only... If it if the only thing that it does is heal you, then it doesn't necessarily affect it too much. Obviously, you're, you're getting healed throughout the match. And I'm not, but... Uh, double dash attack, because why not? You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. Damn, I swear I like went over you. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if my spirit is a uh, level 99 because uh, I barely play World of Light. I'm not even like halfway, nowhere near halfway. I was trying to go for a dump too. 
okay. Be barely being able to play with the first stock. Get the first stock. I don't know. I'll tell you this for sure. I'm not. I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of playing with spirits. I don't mind playing. I think I'm so used to like me playing like tournament rules. You know, obviously nothing too crazy. Like, but just like alpha, not alpha, but like uh, omega battlefield stages and uh, just three stock, plenty of time. But just like that, just pure skill. But um, I don't mind playing with items sometimes. Uh, obviously not all the time. And but I do like playing with uh, like big stages here and there. Big state playing on big stages is pretty fun. I will, I gotta admit. You know, like Hyrule or classic Hyrule, the one from the '64. But yeah, I don't know about spirits. And maybe it's because I've never played with spirits, so something that I still need to probably need to get used to. It, but I don't know. Nice. Nice back air there. Dash attack. Pretty close match. Oh, had the read, but uh, but. Nice. Got the read there. So able to close it up. This match is as wild as ever, eh, Joker? Good shit. Had me uh holding on to your life. <laughs> Alright, let me switch up characters actually. I don't know if I'm exactly vibing with Joker today. Let's see. I'm gonna pick Pokemon Trainer, why not? Oh, uh, really? Gonna start it up? What the hell? Thanks for waiting, eh. Uh, Oh, <laughs> nah, it wasn't. It's all good though, it's all good. No, hold up, hold up. B, it's a, it's a Centrix turn with me. If you don't mind stepping out, just for that one match, we're taking turns. You know? Alright, thank you, thank you. Alright. Alright, let's see here.
Like I said, I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep on the uh, spirits, simply because spirits are kind of finicky. Oh, okay, you start off with an item, alright, alright. Please, Ivysaur, I know your recovery is horrible, but still. Down throw here. Love's going for that uh, neutral air there. Had to go for the obligatory side B. Any Charizard, you gotta go for the side B, you know? Up B, closing it off, good shit. To really go... Oh, nice. Probably wasn't the best idea to uh, switch to uh, Bulbasaur, I mean uh, Squirtle, when uh, Dash attack there. Nice read there. Not really a read, just kind of had to. Nice. Squirtle's really light. Ivysaur, I said out of three, is probably my, my best character from Pokemon Trainer. Simply because I know they have the projectile and the reach. I think that's game. Yeah. Good shit, good shit. What do you mention? <laughs> I think he did it because he was waiting. He was thinking it was me. GG, GG. Uh, so we got a Ness up in here. Damn, Ness is going to probably be a pain. But who knows? I feel more confident with uh, Pokemon Trainer. Pokemon Trainer is one of my favorite characters. Not exactly my best character, but uh, one of my favorites nonetheless. PK Fire, yep, PK Fire. That combo though, PK Fire to PK Fire, something you never see. <laughs> Being a little sarcastic shit right now. So that's the thing, like, you kind of have to be when going up against a, uh, a Ness. Oh, but that Gimp. <laughs> oh, shit. That Gimp, though. Kind of had to go for it, my dude. Was expecting the swipe, but got the Gimp instead. Going for up throw here, so up B, nice. Oh, 
Again. Nice recovery there. Gotta admit, I almost gimped you again. Nice dash attack. Switch it up. Did not mean to switch it up there. Kind of being a little fucky with the uh, switches there. Didn't get the up I wanted. Nope, sir. Didn't get the two frame. I don't know what you were going for there, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Nice, nice tech chase there. PK fire to PK fire. Nice combo of the century. Damn, nice cheeky little spike there onto the stage. Couldn't get the two frame. Nice. The upbeat didn't finish it off though. Nice backer. I'm gonna get that bat. It's all good though. Going off stage. Four throw. Could have probably gone for something different. Ooh, spot dodged a little bit too late. Let's go. <laughs> Went for the tricky side B there. <laughs> Panned out. That's the thing, like... I think when I first started using uh, Pokemon Trainer, you know, the first thing that you want to instinctively do with Charizard is Sorry B because it's such a powerful move if you land it. It could also break shields, but um, you gotta, it's so predictable that all you have to do is just shield or get out of the way. And uh, if obviously if you missed, um, uh, Raging, is that you? Yeah, what's up, Duo? Nice to see you in the chat. I don't know who Raging is, but... But yeah, <laughs> nice to see you in the chat. But um, but yeah, uh, what was I gonna say? Um, you got to um, you got to make it unpredictable. You know, you can't let your opponent predict your uh, your side B, or else you're gonna be in big trouble. Trying to oh, that's not cool. Gotta go for the obligatory side B2 with Banjo, you know? Banjo. What would he be without his side B? Pretty pretty bottom tier, honestly. But kinda harsh, but it's the truth. I feel like Banjo without side B would not be a good character. I feel like every every character needs this one certain gimmick that uh makes them a little bit more viable. My opinion. Alright, let's switch it up now. That we're at a little bit higher percentage.
Oh, side B to the other side. I don't know. Trying to dial a little bit, but uh, I don't know. I guess at the cost of a wondering, wondering. Don't really know. Nice, nice. Nice side B to close off that stock. Gotta be careful here because I am Squirtle. Squirtle's pretty really, really light. Not the best at higher percentages. But really good for comboing. Really want to bait out these... Uh, I shouldn't be speaking my strategies, you know, especially when I know my, my opponent's watching my stream. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I know what I want to do, or what to look forward. Nice there. <laughs> One of him TDs. The Wonder Wing there. Gonna switch up right away since uh, Banjo's already at a high percentage. Travel closing out the stock. That's okay though. I think at this point, my goal is to not get too stocked. accomplished now is it gonna close it off with the side B because usually that's like a kill confirm probably gonna go for a side B or a neutral air yep side B that uh, one hit wonder kind of time with him for a little bit Kinda maybe hoping to get a little bit of hits here and there. Up side B. Side B. Nope, no sir. Get up on stage. Gotta play a little trolley here, especially since I'm Charizard. Nice. 
<laughs> how to play how to fuck around with him with how to fuck around with him. <laughs> Gotta make him work for it. <laughs> nice. Uh do you know I was boy this I was a boy this whole time too. Let's see, what's been on the chat? Uh hi raging, I was at our sense stream, but she hit me. Oh fuck. Good stuff, good stuff. So, who's this uh, raging person that you guys are talking about? Because I have no clue. What's going on? Might need a little context here. Oh, shit. Yeah. Might take off the uh, amiibos here. Amiibos, uh, spirits here shortly. Not entirely sure. I'm not even sure what my amiibo does, to be honest with you, so. I don't know if I'm at an advantage in some way or not. Dig to up air. Classic banjo stuff. That thirsty side B. Love's going for that uh, tricky uh, uh, recovery there. Honestly, like it's a it's a little bit punishable simply because if you know if you know your opponent is doing it quite a bit, you could easily go off stage and like spike the second one or even the first one. To be honest with you, so it's just a matter of like punishing that. But who knows? But yeah, Duo, thank you for joining into the chat. I don't know if you were just following around B. Uh, B, I'm guessing, goes by Raging also, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Not exactly a kill throw percentage. that dig oh but patience there didn't get him didn't get him with the up air that he wanted another dig nope just going for the side throw yep going for that tricky recovery Kind of camping it a little bit there. Honestly, um, I mean, it's good if you were winning, but uh, currently Eccentric's in the lead, so he could just camp it out. Edge, focus on his edge guarding there a little bit. Not really focus on that too much. See, it's stuff like that where you got to be careful. Got to make sure you're not landing on the stage when you're doing that sort of thing, or else you're going to get caught hard. Nice get up attack, and that fucking thirsty side B, going literally all the way across the stage. Not really much you could do about it other than shield or grab at a really, really nice timing. And B again, off stage shenanigans. Going for the SD, I guess. <laughs> Yo, nice to see you in the chat again, Martha. Thank you for tuning in. Message uh, characters. I'm gonna take off the spirits too, actually. Spirits are kind of fucky. 
Alright, let's see. Kinda wanna... I'm gonna just say fuck it and pick randoms. I'm gonna change the rules up too. Uh, I don't think I could change the rules. Do three players match so we can all play. I'm gonna start up a new arena. Because uh, I don't think I could take up spirits. And if I can, then I fucked up, but whatever. <laughs> uh, let's see. Spirits are off. Uh, format, three player smash. I'll do four player smash just in case somebody else wants to join. Again, 15 will be the code. Step into the ring. Yo, duo. I don't know what drama is going on in other people's channels, but hey, man, talk about it. Talk about it like in the DMs or something like that, because I don't want to promote promote having people telling others to unsubscribe to others. You know, something going, something went on in somebody else's channel, then. Uh, you know, talk about it either there or just in the DMs with each other. Cause, uh, yeah, I, like I said, I don't know who this raging person is, and so I don't have any beef, and I don't want people to come over here and think that I'm beefing or that I'm siding with somebody when I don't really even know what's going on. So, uh, yeah, just a heads up. You know, I don't want I don't want that kind of vibe going on here. I don't even know exactly what's even going on, but still. Uh, the password is 15. Damn, I'm running out of water. Damn. Got that Bowser. Amen. Always, I'm always caught in the middle of shit. Sorry about that. 
Uh, shield breaking in this game is so satisfying. He made it. No, thank you. Thank you for helping me get it back on stage. <laughs> oh my god. Aw oh man, I was taunting, bro. Bowser, so heavy. Oh, nice. Good stuff. Bowser, so heavy. <laughs> it gets hype when you stream smash. Yeah. Uh, when you hide someone on your YouTube channel, it means your person you can't hide. Your head can't be seen on chat or comments. Isabel is me. Alright. But yeah, duo, like I said, I don't know what drama or what's exactly going on on somebody else's stream or channel, but, uh, you know, just deal with it either off the stream or just on your own accord, you know, I don't know exactly what's going on, but still, it's like a thing that should be handled somewhere else, I guess, because I don't want people from that other stream thinking that, like, you know, I, having people over here just so that we could talk shit when I don't really want that to happen. Unless I legitimately have beef with that person, then yes, but even then I feel like I'd want to handle it, you know, in a private manner rather than like publicly, I guess. Just being maturing, mature about it, I guess. for a bit. Damn. 
Yeah, I have noticed that like every time I switch over to Smash or something, it like gets more crazier. But um, I don't know. I feel like I kind of want to chill out on the Smash thing. Because honestly, like normally, I would not play Smash this fucking often. I, I would I would have like a really good session and then I'd like take a break for like a couple of days. So I feel like the next stream, uh, probably on Wednesday, I'll probably uh, switch it up and play something on PS4, like for the whole time. Probably get back into Persona for sure. That's the game that I've been thinking about. Because, uh, I mean, I have Persona 5 Royale, Royal, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. And, uh, and, uh, I don't ever play it. But yeah, it'd be cool. But yeah, I'm gonna have to probably, uh, take a, uh, like a little, like a break right now. Um, but, uh, I'll probably leave the stream on just because there's like more people have going on. But, uh, I'll, I'll just be, uh, spectating. Leave, a, leave the stream up, leave, leave the stream up, but I'll spectate. So yeah, we'll see. Would I consider more Switch games? Yeah, absolutely. I was playing Animal Crossing earlier, actually. Um, I want to also play... Po I'm going to play Pokemon eventually on stream. And then... Um, oh, come on. Don't tell me you left as a uh, duo. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. Aw oh, man, come on. I know you lost first, but still, it's not cool, bruh. Uh, let's see. Okay, um, are you sure? Okay, I'm going to probably have to SD because uh, I have to do something real quick. But I'll, I'll let the stream go on. I'll let the stream keep going. So don't mind me.
All right, we back, we back. Sorry about that. Don't know what's exactly going on in the chat, but uh, like I said, let's not try to be like anything too toxic. Teabagging is cool and everything, but I guess like, it's like whatever, honestly. I'd rather take, I'd rather leave it than take it. But hey, what's up, Donut? Nice to have you in the chat, bro. Uh, you're late? No, it's okay. I plan on streaming for a little bit more. For a little while longer, so you're fine, dude. Nothing to worry about. Just having you here is fine. I was thinking maybe we could do teams. Just like, uh, I don't know. That, or just go back to normal 1v1. Dude. Uh, I do want to say, uh, Duo, if you're going to keep rage quitting, uh, I don't think you should join. I might have to kick you if you're going to keep rage quitting in the middle of the match. If you want to, if you don't want to, you know... Uh, you know, if you want to keep doing that, uh, I don't, I'm gonna just have to kick you because, uh, it preferably I'd have you rather wait till the end of the match so that we could actually finish. Because, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of a fuckboy shit. It's kind of fuckboy shit. And I, I don't, I don't want to put it, to put it bluntly. <laughs> Sorry to say it, but it's, it's kind of annoying, dude. So, if you want to come back, okay, that's fine. But, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, if you lose first, just have the common courtesy to just wait until the end of the match so that everybody else who's still playing could actually finish the match, you know? But, uh, yeah, it's kind of fucked up. <laughs> it is fucked up. Three, two, one, but okay, we got uh, Me Too up in here. Sorry I left guys, I, I kind of had to do something important. I don't want to get into the details of it too much, but uh, yeah, kind of had to uh, get off the mic a little bit. But yeah, to anybody who's uh, uh, watching the stream, thank you so much. I'm sorry I wasn't on the mic too long. Um, I uh, like I said, I had to take take care of something important, but uh, it only went on for a little bit, so I didn't have to completely shut the stream off. Ah, uh, fucking shulk. Dude, that sucks. I need to learn to wait. Yeah, I know, dude. Hey, and and thank you so much uh, for tuning in. I uh, I really appreciate that too. <laughs> Uh, well, it's uh, one of uh, Eric's friends, but yeah, thank you for showing the support, being a homie. But yeah, I mean, like, it's okay. I understand. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I won't lie and say that I never rage quit or something like that, or like I haven't rage quit in other games. But I feel like in Smash, it's like. You know, especially when you're playing with other people, like four player smash or three player smash. And, you know, you lose first, but, you know, just just have that common courtesy of just like waiting. You know, you're going to play again. You know, it's not 1v1s where you have to wait. In 1v1s, I get it. You know, you have to wait. But but right now, it's like, uh, you know, playing in an arena, just having fun, nothing too serious. So, you know, just wait, you know, you're going to play again soon. So it's not that big a deal. But yeah. Ooh, nice combo there, dude.
Preach. <laughs> Sanya, thank you. But yeah, like I said, man, just just it's just the patience, I guess. Like I said, I don't, I don't really like calling out people too much, but it's like, hey, you know, you're playing with other people. It's just to have fun, you know, no need to, you know, take it too serious. You know, if you want to take it serious, just play 1v1s with that person or play tournament rules, you know, Genesis rules or whatever the fuck. But yeah. Yeah, it's not fair to anybody, especially, like I said, if you're playing, uh, Four player smash especially. Oh shit. Sanya, thank you so much for tuning in. B got me. Oh no, I'm cut in the middle. Fuck. Get me out of the middle. That fucking up B. <laughs> Good shit. He was telling me preach, or they were telling me preach, I don't know. Not you. What even is a preach? What even is a preach? Alright, man. Letting you know right now. If you quit, I might have to uh, boot you from the uh, lobby. Might have to tell me out from chat, you know. Like I said, I don't want to be cheesy or any of that shit, but uh, positive vibes, you know, it's a Monday. <laughs> hey, if, if you want to say that, if he wants to say that, then whatever. I'm not trying to assume the worst of anybody, you know, obviously, but still, it's like, hey, whatever. It is what it is. It is what it fucking is. Ooh, nice combos there, dude. But yeah, I do want to do the uh, obligatory plug to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel and uh, you're looking forward to uh, to uh, future streams, uh, go ahead and subscribe because uh, I'm gonna I'm streaming uh, every other day, usually around the same time, 7 p.m. Maybe sometimes earlier, you know. But uh, usually it's gonna be around 7 p.m. That's when you could uh, pretty much catch me on stream. Oh, this is a bunch of fucking. Sh Four player smash. Oh my god. Get what you get and don't throw a fit. Yeah, yeah, basically, you know. But uh, yeah, I will be stream. I stream every other day, usually at 7 p.m. PST. And, uh, but, uh, yeah. So, and I also plan on making, like, actual videos for the channel. Uh, I'll probably make one soon because I do want to, you know, give people, let people know what my stream schedule is and uh, also announcing a giveaway that I want to do. 
uh, for uh, Nintendo Switch membership. So, uh, yeah. So I'll make, I'll probably, and if I'm not too busy tomorrow, if I don't have anything going on tomorrow, I'll probably just make that video, take the time. Because I, I for sure, I'm, I'm not going to stream tomorrow, you know. I would stream every day, but uh, I'm just like, like I said, I, I haven't been streaming for too long. So I don't want to get automatically like burnt out, you know. Like I want to take it easy, not push myself to like, force myself to stream when I want to, when I don't want to stream or when I should uh, be doing other things, you know. Here's the test. Testing it out. I'm waiting. Okay. I'm at a really high percentage right now. Okay. Oh, that actually clipped me. side B. Ooh. Thought that was gonna kill me. Let's go. I have a reflector too. Ooh, I don't know what happened there, but good stuff. But yeah, I currently, I think the latest video, or for sure the latest video that I put out was a uh, discussion about Nintendo with the boy Eccentric here, currently in the chat and in game, the Joker player that you're seeing right now. And uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty good video. Obviously, I want to have him back for more discussions, but I want to try to uh, make uh, a little bit more of a diverse content, not just discussion videos. Spike with Joker though. Looking kind of clean, looking kind of. Now letting you get the spike, bro. That was <laughs> Sorry going for that spike, my dude. <laughs> Good shit. I don't I don't know if I would have done anything different there. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, 
Put you on the center here. Whoa, did something happen? Game is offline, what the fuck? Oh shit. Oh, okay. Was worried there. I don't know what happened there. Are we both Roy? All right. Hopefully the stream is uh, back to normal. Took a little bit of a nose dive there. Ooh, god damn, dude. I don't even know how I did that much power or damage. We're both Roy. Oh no, I got fucking gimped. Sword Fighters Club, for sure. Aw, oh, man. That was, like, so obvious. Hey, thank you so much, Martha. I really do appreciate it. Oh, my fucking God. The moment that I'm not looking away, that I'm looking at chat, I really should pull up chat on my computer. Because, uh... Be, being looking on my phone is not the most convenient. should really pull it up on my, uh, computer screen here. Okay. 